Hey Sim Racers, Larry TJR Sim here. Today we're looking at VR settings with the new X Series build that I have from the PC build that I just did uh, with the uh, see the 7820X uh, i7 and using my existing MSI 1080 Ti GPU. Uh, hey, by the way, have you saw the 2080 Ti's come out today on the video? So did you pre-order them? Anyway, post below if you did. Uh, or, or let us know what you think about about them. We don't really know a whole lot about them besides that they're going to be roughly around 20% better than what the uh, uh, 1080 Ti is, which actually may solve a lot of VR issues is what I am hoping. So uh, anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll see that unravel when it gets here. But back to this. The uh, VR settings for this is pretty much on par what I was seeing with Project Cars 2 uh, VR. You pretty much can max everything out and uh, easy peasy. It's running, you know, 90 FPS uh, most of the time. So uh, I will point out again, like I did in my first VR uh, setup with the Seto Corsa uh, with my old build, same thing. You're going to want to go to your Assetto Corsa file. Now, I still change it in the documents Assetto Corsa file. Your config file is what we're going to be looking at here. Uh, but go to your documents and then Assetto Corsa and CFG and then go to your Oculus. Right click, open with WordPad and check that out there. So I'm running a 1.7 super sampling. Hopefully this is coming out big enough on the video. So 1.7 super sampling. You can run it up to 2.0. I have not noticed any difference as far as resolution goes uh, with running 2.0. So uh, I think this is another case of the juice isn't worth the squeeze. Uh, when you run in 2.0, you just definitely go into asynchronous mode uh, way too often. Uh, and so a set of courses seems to not really benefit from the higher uh, uh, super sampling. So why tax your, your graphics card more. So 1.7 seems to be the sweet spot and that's what I run and it works really good at that. So anyway, that's that setting there and of course your super sampling you would want to change it in your C, wherever you have it on your C drive. So you go to your C, program files, uh, Steam, Steam apps, common, and it said of course and then config and then, of course, again, look for your Oculus um, setting. Go open up your WordPad again, and you'll see there I got 1.7 as well again. Uh, you you want to change it in both places just to cover your bases. Uh, it seems to work uh, better that way. I noticed that when I first, first time setting it up, uh, I wasn't getting the results I was wanting until I changed it in both spots. So, with that said, Let's check it out. So here's the settings. Like I said, you're pretty much maxing everything out, but now I normally run uh, resolution at, at uh, 2880. Let me see here. This might actually help on this screen for y'all guys to see it bigger. All right, so I'm usually running it at uh, 1920 by 1080p, but for the video purposes, we're running it at 1440 for full screen effect. You want to make sure you have Oculus Rift checked on. Full screen rendering uh, is fine. You don't have to have it on. Vertical sync off. Uh, your frame limit, uh, 92 FPS, because you're really only wanting to hit 90, so no sense in it trying to struggle to go higher. Uh, your uh, a, uh, anastropic filtering, it max it out. Your AA, max it out. World detail, this one's the only one that's a little taxing. Uh, you can definitely go to maximum. And when you get, say, like at uh, certain tracks like Donington and stuff, and you get to the front straight away, you're going to drop into 45 FPS and also starting off the line at a dead stop. You'll be there, and then it'll it'll gradually uh, pull itself out of it, and you'll, you'll run a pretty constant 80 to 90 FPS is what I found uh, with it on maximum once you get spread out a little bit. And this is with a 15-car grid as well. So the grid is F... Uh, actually increased from before I think it was eight or nine cars or something like that that was on the first one uh, you had to keep the grid a little bit smaller to hold a nice FPS range but I found that very high saves you a little bit FPS high is kind of the sweet spot 
So I'll run it on high. Uh, as far as the rest of it goes here, your shadow resolution is on ultra. You don't really need an ultra on, on VR. The you know it's it's one of those things that you really don't notice a difference between ultra and say uh, high. Uh, but just for the purpose of the video, you can max everything out. So, uh, but if you want to have a trade off and go a little bit more world detail to see a little bit more of the <laughs> the uh, people in the grandstand or something, I'll be they don't really look good anyways but uh, if you want to see more of the world detail then you want to bump this shadow resolution down to high uh, anyway so let's go on to the effects the effects ultra smoke you know that looks just as good as as normal well really as high to me uh, normal looks actually really good too uh, smoke and mirrors uh, show the smoke and mirrors is turned on we're able to do that post process and I leave it off it just doesn't look good uh, just any way you skin it, you know, until we get the uh, uh, set, of course, of the competition, which is actually using the ray tracing uh, capabilities of the new graphics card, which is I'm excited about. Um, that's gonna that's gonna look gorgeous from what I saw on the uh, demo. But um, yeah, let's wait for that one. But for now, for a set of Corsa. Uh, uh, you, you can turn it on or off. Uh, it really hits your frame rate when you turn it on because it's just not efficient. So, uh, well, view doesn't matter. Uh, go on down to reflections. Again, everything maxed out. Mirror resolution on high. High quality mirror resolutions on. Uh, this is a nice feature because now in your rear view mirrors, everything looks at a very high resolution. The cars behind you are not jaggedy or anything. They, they look really crisp. So that's a really nice uh, uh, bump as well. Uh, reflection quality, of course, on high. So all the cars are gonna look as good as they're possibly gonna look. And same with the reflection render C, uh, frequency on ultra. So yeah, it all looks as good as it's possibly gonna look uh, now with the newer build, which is, is actually awesome. So. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into a race here and you will see what's going on. I'll have the counter up and uh, I'll actually shut up and let you just listen to it and watch the counter go. I'll uh, run a couple laps so you get the gist of it all and then uh, we'll exit from there. So, uh, but all in all, uh, really impressed with the new build and what I can do with VR as far as bumping up all the settings everywhere. Uh, it hasn't let me down yet. So, uh, Probably will be doing R Factor 2 and I Racing next. Uh, so, yeah, it's been requested on the site too. So, hang in there. I've been trying to get to all these videos. <laughs> but the PC bill put me behind actually a little bit. Let's load up the race, see what's going to go on. And you probably wouldn't hear me talk over the audio because I didn't turn the audio down. So, I'm not going to really talk. Uh, through this. I'm just going to race and let you see what's going on. Alright, let's get started. If you don't know, control, spacebar, recenters.
All right, so there you have it. That's the uh, look at VR settings with the new build. It, sh it shouldn't be too much of a surprise for a set of Corsa because uh, it's pretty efficient game. But uh, what I did notice that's the biggest step is that, you know, obviously you can turn everything up to ultra, but the car count, the opponents actually increased a lot more. So, uh, you know, 15 components here. I could probably go more. Uh, just left it at 15. It's fine. It seems like plenty of cars to race against uh, on the track, so uh, you only got 24 spots anyway, but it doesn't seem to be too overcrowded for that track at 15. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful for you. You know, this one was an easy one. You punch everything up to high when you have a decent uh, setup and, and call it a day. So uh, stay tuned for the next ones, and uh, we'll see you on the track. I'm out.